Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca and uh, this is my house. Uh, it belonged to my grandparents and now it belongs to me and I will probably spend the rest of my life in an effort to save it. But today I'm not working in the house, I'm actually working out in my yard and as you can see the uh, yard is quite um, overgrown. I've actually been working in this hole right here trying to find my way back to the fence. Um, but uh, one of the reasons I was doing that is because I am actually currently working on setting up some flower beds, some raised garden beds. And I had some beds out here over in this area. And because of some uh, work we're going to have to do underneath the kitchen, I am moving them out more into a central part of the yard. And to do that, um, I had to pull out everything that was in them, and these were uh, hugel culture beds, which means that they have um, wood and yard debris in the bottom of them to fill up the raised beds, and then you place dirt on top of them and plants on top of that. So, here is why I am working so hard, because up under these bushes over here, I have a wonderful supply of dead wood and um, things that I can fill my beds with. So I'm very excited to get in there. It's already partially decomposed, so that'll get a good start on that. And it'll help take care of the probably 12 foot deep overgrowth that is happening all around my house. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, leave a comment if you want to and please subscribe. Just wanted to show you a little bit of where these beds used to be um, and kind of how they were set up before. Um, I had three, those same three garden beds in this area. There was uh, one, two, and three in the back. And I used them for several years and they worked really, really well and I really loved them. Um, but due to some, uh, some issues and things that happened over several years for us, I didn't, I wasn't able to get out here and work in them. And as you can see, what happens when you leave things without being done for a while, even if it was circumstances beyond your control, things take over. And um, yeah, so now I am moving these beds where you can see the frame left in the dirt here. Um, I'm moving these beds out here into the middle of the yard and leaving a gap wide enough that I can actually mow in between them this time. And the reason for that is um, our kitchen over here, we had um, some people come in and help level the house. This house, uh, we believe, was built in the 1870s. And um, so, of course, it has many problems that houses this old have. But we're going to need to do a little bit more leveling here in the kitchen end. And in order to do that, it would be much easier to have access to this side of the house. So here we are, moving beds all over again, but that's okay because I'm excited about getting a new start on this garden and maybe making it look even better and hopefully getting things growing again.
folks, this is where I started this morning. And I've done all of this, all the way back to the fence, all the way over, and finally started unearthing the old tin that has been hiding under here for quite a while now. Um, and I'm really excited about this because this is step one in yet another project around here, which you'll be finding out about later. Um, but I'm pretty happy with what I got done today, probably about 30 feet of fence that I hand cleared. So hopefully I'll get to do a little bit more soon before all of this has a chance to grow back. So here we are uh, back in by the fence that I've cleared out. Um, and this is that massive pile of tin. Uh, most of it is left over from when they re-roofed our house. But um, what I wanted to show you is right back here. This is what we're working towards. You see that? That is a massive tree that fell years ago and is now decomposing here under all of this brush. That, my friends, is Hugel Culture Gold. That's my goal. That's where I'm wanting to get to eventually chop that up, put it in the bottom of my beds so that we can grow us some yummy food and some pretty flowers. So here's the yard that I've been working on all afternoon, but this morning I wanted to show you what I did. We got a little baby orange tree. I got it planted in the ground today. So here's hoping that it survives. This is a, believe a Hamlin sweet orange so we'll see we'll see how she goes well here I am and this is a new channel for me and I've been working on this house for about five years now but I decided I'd start filming it since some of my friends and family were curious and if you're interested be sure to like and subscribe. I hope I'll be making more videos. I don't know what schedule I'll be putting them out on. Just depends on when I get things done. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching. And if you enjoy it, leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time.